what's going on guys welcome back to the channel Cav the Gamer now today playing a bit of Modern Warfare my favorite map of them all shipment and this month it's 24 7 of shipment you can see from my loadouts I've got the bottom particle don't use the shoddy preloaded loadouts access denied that's because I only use my main loadouts and today we're using one of my favorite loadouts called Rambo I've called it the Rambo because it is what it is it goes in all guns blazing doesn't take cover I like it it's pretty good so yeah this month we have a whole shipment of 24 7 now shipment it's one of those levels where if you're having a bad day or had a bad week you just want to come jump online don't have to worry about doing anything tactical just go straight in and just don't stop shooting until that ammo comes out. I mean, with shipment, you can't miss any targets. Let's get the game started with the Rambo weapon. Right, the first thing I always like to do as soon as this level loads, throw a gas grenade, followed by a normal frag grenade. Run to the other side because I know where they're going to be respawning from. They'll be spawning from this corner hit. Dang, he's out. And as you can see from my Rambo attachment, I've got the hybrid scope. Now it's not a thermal or anything, but it's pretty good because if someone throws a smoke grenade with my optics, I can actually see through the smoke. So it makes it pretty good. And I always try to keep aware of where the enemy team is respawning. So you'll see in the game I run pretty much from side to side because I know they're going to be respawning and probably trying to flank me and come down the two sides of the main map. I don't normally stick in the middle of the map because let's just be honest, in the middle of the map if someone's running around with a shotgun, which they normally do, you're just gonna get ended up slayed down. So as you can see, run there, take him out, job done. Next one, oh I know he's hiding. I know he's there. He will appear. And I've also changed my controller to tactical, so on the right analog stick of the PS4, if I press it down, I automatically go into a crouch prone position. And I've also changed it, so as soon as I start moving, I don't actually have to press the sprint button. My character, operator, whatever you want to call it in the game, automatically starts sprinting forward, which is great because I don't have to worry about pressing another button to sprint or anything like that now that Rambo is finished out of ammo I'm stuck on I think it's the Desert Eagle I'm using to be honest I've never been great with handguns I can never do any long shot distances I've seen few players online who are really good with the handguns and also whenever I need to reload I know as they always say it's quicker to swap your weapon than it is to reload but for me nah look at these two look at these two Rambo done in and out that's what it's all about and part of one of my tactics as I'm running around the map is sprint straight into a slide. I know if you aim, obviously, it takes a little bit longer because this gun isn't the lights of them all. But it's pretty good for what it is. So run, sprint again. And as you can see here, I've actually respawned on the other side of the map. So I'm going to pretty much do the same tactic as I did before, which is run from left to right and just keep covering it. They also quite important is, I don't know if a lot of players actually do it, is to actually keep an eye on that mini map. Now the mini map's really good, especially on shipment. Because if you look in the corner of your mini map where your team is, if you're for example stuck here like where I am now, you can see in the mini map there's quite a few of my other team around me. If I was in that corner and there's no team around me, guarantee 9 out of 10 the enemy is going to pretty much respawn right there either behind me or literally in front of me so it's always good to keep an eye on the minimap every now and again and here we go see they're all coming from that corner again duck behind that and yeah as you can tell with the optic I can really see quite clearly because don't forget shipments quite a colorful map so when you've got a lot of players running around like headless chickens shooting off aimlessly hoping to hit a target it always makes it slightly easier if you've got something that can distinguish your target. And you can also see, once I start aiming, um, the other team enemy is highlighted yellow, their name tags, as opposed to mine in blue. Now, if you were to use a normal sculpt um, weapon of your choice, you would see all the colours of the shipment around you, so 
depending on your reaction speed, it might take you a little bit longer to distinguish between enemy and foe. But because it's black and white and it just sort of is yellow, I know instantly, yep, yeah, that's not my team. And even if it is my team, I mean, there's no friendly fire on here, so there's no harm in shooting your own team as long as you, you know, conserve your ammunition. Right, so let's see. Run down here. Oh, oh, that's the problem. In shipment, you are guaranteed to get shot down. I mean, I've seen some really, really good players on YouTube playing Call of Duty Shipment who are just going crazy with a shotgun, even a sniper rifle. I mean, I've attempted to use a sniper rifle in this level, and my God, either I'm using the wrong sniper rifle because my character moves so slow, or I'm just suck at sniping. So, this is probably my favorite weapon of choice. I'm still actually trying to get the gold camouflage um, for the weapon, but unfortunately I've not been able to complete all the challenges yet. But we'll see. Hopefully I can get it done. That could be one of my challenges, actually. And I can try and YouTube me road to the gold camouflage. That'd be pretty good, I think. Oh, that's one thing that annoys me as well. Anytime you're playing YouTube and someone gets kill streaks and they start laying down rain from the sky, that is it. You might as well just camp and duck for cover because the minute you run out, this map is so small, you are guaranteed to be knocking down by fire. And here they are again. See, always appearing from the corners, each side, all the time. Gas grenade. Now, the reason you're probably thinking maybe why do I throw a gas grenade, it actually works more effective than a stun grenade. It actually lasts longer and it also makes the enemy movement a lot slower. It doesn't really blur their vision, but it makes them a lot slower, so... Once I throw it, it slows their movement, followed by a grenade. By the time they try to move around and stuff, the grenade is nearby. 9 out of 10, if you get it right, you're going to get them. Look at this, look at this group of them. Look at them. What are you trying to do? The great thing is on shipment, if you're on a good team, um, you can try and flank the enemy in a corner. So where they respawn, you can just hover around there and they will have nowhere to go. As soon as they respawn... Just lay them down. And the other thing is all shipment is I don't know why they I mean in a team match that we're in now, it's pretty chaotic as it is. I mean nobody's really talking to each other on the team, no one's actually giving any tactics or, you know, playing it as a team as you would in, for example, Warzone quads of four or something like that. I wonder if actually I don't know, there could be actually be a mode where you can actually play shipment solo and I can imagine that would just be chaotic just running around like look at the amount of players in front of me right now and that's my team now imagine playing solo and that's not your team eh, at least we've got a victory right let's see how much my score was today did I do good did I get anything no I mean this is a classic example of look at this sniper this is actually really skill like I wish I could actually Attempt to even do quick scope sniping like that. Well, that's not bad. Not too many kills, not the greatest of all matches for me, to be honest. But, you know, like I said, shipment's one of those ones. Just go in there, have fun. Any weapon you want, probably get kills and just have a blast. Yeah. Well, that's all today for the Rambo edition, guys. Stick around and I'll have some more videos of the Rambo. Thanks for watching.